This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Shelf Genie. Welcome back. Whether the kids have grown up or you're just looking for something smaller, many people are considering downsizing or maybe you live in a small place. Here to help make the most out of organizing and storage in that smaller space is Alan Regala from Shelf Genie of Seattle. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Margaret. So there are lots of people who are, you know, have different sorts of spaces, hard to deal with spaces. What do you do to help them with that? Well, we try to make spaces really efficient for people get them as much space as possible, um, as well as make things uh, organized and, um, and you know, really accessible. So and customized for people as well. Exactly. It's all um, designed, uh, built, and installed, and everything is custom that we do for people inside their homes. Well, let's see a before pantry. All <laughs> this right. is an area that can get out of control pretty quickly. So you can see here a, a very typical pantry in a cabinet like this. It's just, it's super deep. It's about two feet deep. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really hard to get to anything that's in the back of the cabinet. As well, you can see there's this, these spaces in between the shelves that you kind of need to actually, if you do want to get to the back, so you yeah. have the space you're not actually using. So we try to maximize the utility of the space by putting in shelves that pull out and then designing it so that you don't have that dead space in there as well. And if you look at the picture, you, if you add up all that empty space, that's a bunch of space you're not using. So here's exactly. the pantry redesigned. How does this help with that problem? Well, it helps in, in multiple ways. So first of all, everything here pulls out so that we can get to the back of this place super Yay. easy just by pulling it out. Um, and you know, we can make this really efficient as well because now we don't have these big gaps in between the mm -hmm. shelves. So we're actually using more of that space. Um, and so everything pulls out. You're using the space. I love that. Things a place organized. for lids. Exactly. <laughs> and these tall spaces, that, uh, vertical spaces, are usually the biggest um, inefficient spaces in a home just because there's so much volume in there that's not being used properly. Right. And so if you have a lot of canned goods, you have mm -hmm. three really, uh, not shallow, but just right-sized shelves. Make that perfect. Okay. So let's look at an after picture of a different pantry, but what you were able to do. Yeah, so this is very common. So this is a, a, a condo that's in um, downtown Bellevue. And you can see here, we just totally maximized the use of that mm -hmm. space with some shorter spaces for those shorter items, taller spaces for taller items, great space for you know the flat things at the very top, like yeah, cookie sheets and cutting boards. Baking sheets and things that just rattle around in various places. There's a, a real place to put those. Okay, lots of people have square corners, blind corners, where there's you know something back there, there's some space. Let's talk about the blind corner. What do we do with that? Blind corner is really challenging because it's that, you know, the, it goes in and then cuts over to the side like that. <laughs> and, and it looks like this. You just can't get to the back of that space. Um, and you don't, have, you know, you, you got to get on your hands and knees to get back there. So what we've done is we have a solution that allows you to really easily access the stuff that's in the front like this. Here it but comes. You can slide this one over in the back, and it gives you easy access yep. to the things in the back. And as pull well. that up. Now, obviously, you're going to put stuff in there that you don't need to get to every day. But when you can, you don't have to, you know, send in an excavator. What that's about right. a square corner? Square corner cabinets. You know, typically you'll see a lazy Susan. And, um, you know, this is an example of one that has nothing in it, just a shelf and a part of a shelf and uh, <laughs> a lot of wasted space. So Lazy Susans are very common. But what we do is what we call a glide around, which is great for smaller items. I um, really love this. Like this. Yeah. So you can see in the corner, we've got these three sh uh, drawers that actually pull out so mm -hmm. you can use that space, get to it very easily. And then it rotates. The picture on the right is the same unit as the one on the left, except it's just been rotated and you can use the sides of it. That is just amazing. That seems like that would hold a bunch of stuff. Okay, let's talk about bathrooms. Lots of people have, you know, fairly small bathrooms and there's not much room under the sink. You have pipes, et cetera. What do you do about those? Well, again, everything is, is uh, custom built to the space. So this is a great example of uh, space with, you can see this is a bathroom that has lots of stuff in it and <laughs> it's just piled on top of each other. Right. You can imagine how difficult it is to get to the back. Here we've designed it accordingly based on the heights of the things that are in there. Um, and these pull out so that you can get access to that's the back so of those cool. spaces. Yep. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, let's talk about some of the some of the other ways that we go about this. You've got a U-shaped glide out. Mm -hmm, that's what right. What is that? Again, completely custom. So if you've got that pipe in the middle um, and it makes sense, we'll just we'll design it so that there's a, a notch in the middle of that box Look that goes that. right around that plumbing. And then you don't have you don't waste any space at all. You can do that completely. Exactly. What about an under the vanity glide out? What does it do? 
Um, well, is that the bottom shelf there? Th so this is an interesting one. A lot of newer um, newer spaces that are more modern mm -hmm. have these floating vanities. So it's actually there's nothing underneath the vanity. Here we actually added a glide out underneath because uh, this was the only bathroom they had in the in their condo. And so we added this one underneath for towel storage. And then you've got the two upper units there for additional smaller item storage. Cool. So how do you do the design process? Every place is different and everybody uses different stuff. So mm -hmm. what's it like to go through the process? It's a really thorough process. Um, you know, we take this very seriously. It's not a quote. We don't go out there and just provide a quote. We actually go out and first we kind of understand how the person uses, this, uses the space. Um, we ask them questions about how often they're using certain items. We see that the heights of the items that they mm -hmm. use and kind of what, how, what their shape is like and how they fit in their current spaces. And then we figure out, um, you know, how can we really optimize this space um, by maybe some things end up moving around a little bit, um, discussing how f frequently things are used, and uh, we have samples and pictures and all those great things. And by the time we're done, we end up with a really great solution. We have uh, a full quote that's broken down based on priorities, and we're able to you know, see what makes sense for that person. That's great. You have a special offer for viewers. We do. So for the first 15 uh, callers, we have a free design consultation that we'll do, as well as free installation. Ooh, that's pretty good. Thank you so much. Please give Shelf Genie a call at the number on your screen if you'd like to be one of the first 15 callers to get that free design consultation plus free installation. We'll also have a link to Shelf Genie online on our homepage.